Good morning, good morning. How are you doing this morning? Very glad that you're here today. My name is Alex Cooper. Happy, happy Wednesday. If you haven't been in my, one of my previous classes, let me introduce myself. My name is Alex Cooper. I teach for the Columbia County Library in Evans, the Harlem Library, which we're doing our class a day for, and our Uchi Creek, now Grovetown Library. Very, very good. So very glad that you're here today. Of course, we don't have any on-ground classes right now. We're doing all our classes virtually. So very glad that you're here with me today. And also share that we're doing classes online. Maybe not everybody knows. <laughs> <laughs> but just share and let them know about our channel and our other programs that we have going on on our Facebook pages, of course, our YouTube channel here, and of course, a listing of all our stuff that's going on on gchrl.org. Okay, so welcome, welcome, and as we get started with our cutting the cable basics of cord cutting class, let's go ahead and start off with definitely feel free to post any questions that you have into the chat. Uh, you do need to be logged into YouTube to be able to do that and also to be able to like or subscribe to our channel as well. The biggest question I usually start with is how can I help? How can I help? Okay, what questions do you have? Um, let me tell you a little bit about this class. The interesting part about it is I kind of call this the 75 person class. Uh, la the year before last, we actually did a class in uh, January and we had an overwhelming amount of people signing up for, for it and we actually had to cut off the class at 50 people okay at the uh, Evans library so the thing that we had to do was we had to, had to have a second class in February because it was so overwhelming and 25 people came to that one so kind of consider this the 75 person class okay <laughs> so that's one of the things is now I uh, actually taught this class in 2014 and we only had four people show up and then of course there was just something that I was doing and it kept growing and growing and growing. Of course it's become more popular, more well known and people are either doing it already or they're thinking about it or they want some tips to be able to use their antenna better or want to know about other services and stuff. So definitely feel free to post any questions you have in the chat. I'm happy to answer them. I'm going to go ahead and talk about some of our other programs that we have coming up before we get started as everybody kind of comes into the classroom, okay? So welcome, welcome. Very glad that you're here. So I'll disappear for a minute. So basically, we've been having some really great classes this month. We've had some new classes. Uh, we had um, our, our oh, excuse me. We had cord cutting on the first. Library resources. We've do, been doing some projects with our Raspberry Pi, uh, with our Raspberry Pi projects with Alex Live. So you can come join me. We have one of those that we're going to be doing tomorrow morning, uh, which is actually October first. I know. Can you believe it? It's October already. Uh, and also, we have some other programs. Well, tomorrow we'll put out our schedule for. Uh, October so you'll know our full schedule what virtual classes we have we also had a office week so Word Excel and PowerPoint were there of course they were all updated and also we had a YouTube 101 class gadget helps chess classes and also we did our photography series which got updated so if you would seen the class before do you realize some of these have been updated photography basics talking about taking pictures taking better camera pictures is on there all these videos are still available and up here on the YouTube channel. Photography Fundamentals and Cloud Backup to Google Cloud. Also backup from your phone. And then we updated kind of with a new class, the Advanced Photo Editing, which we had done before. And now it also included layers. So not only were we learning about using the Blemish tool in our Photoshop-like program, GIMP, we also were working with layers, making teeth wider, um, cha changing the, the uh, having a picture where we make everything black and white except for maybe one object or one person to make them kind of stand out and some other projects we did too which also got us to be able to do the virtual scrapbooking in a new class as well so yesterday we did photography printing and virtual scrapbooking and this afternoon we're going to be doing creating videos and editing basics using our windows 10 photos app okay tomorrow uh, morning, like I said, we're going to be doing Raspberry Pi, Pi, Pi projects with me, 
Alex. <laughs> do that live. One of the things I think we're going to do is uh, we're going to do something. We're going to call it a breathing LED. So we're going to program an LED to kind of breathe in and out, <laughs> which is kind of be fun. Newer kind of idea. And also we might be making like a doorbell uh, with our project there. And tomorrow afternoon, we're going to be doing library resources and apps. And we're also going to be talking about the new audiobook app to our library uh, with ebooks. It's called Libby. So we'll be talking about that too. So kind of come join me for that. Just to let you know, our libraries are open with limited services and hours. Curbside Holds Pickup is available. And you can go to gchrl.org for details. And of course, you can call the library for questions Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're kind of having a, sub a subscribe a thon. If we can get, get 100 people to subscribe to our YouTube channel, we get our own personalized YouTube address. But if you're searching for our channel, the easiest way to find it is just search YouTube for GCHRL videos and it'll pull right up. Okay. So let's go ahead and go back here. And I'll come back. <laughs> Here, I'll move that down a little bit better. I think my shirt's being a little transparent today, but you, you never know. Okay, so this is the cord cutting class. You know, what experience do you have with cord cutting? I kind of like to start off with that. And I'll go ahead and um, post the uh, handout into the chat. So give me a second on that. And... So do you have like Netflix or anything like that? Go ahead and post that in the chat and I will go ahead and pull up our handout. Whoop. <laughs> I wanna make sure it's the newest one here. One of the new services that's coming out is Peacock. Yeah, good. I want to make sure that's the same one, the right one. Let's see. Okay. So, copy. All right. So, I'm posting the handout in the chat there. And it's loading. All right, so here we go. <laughs> yeah, my shirt is kind of being transparent. So I'll kind of disappear so you can still hear me and stuff. So welcome, welcome. Like I said, feel free to ask any questions at any time. Do realize it may um, be a little bit of delay. And I also am going to be talking about how you can get a free a box from Comcast. Just a little side note, and I'll get asked this sometimes. I just tell, I just teach from experience of stuff I've personally done or bought or or anything like that. I just work for the library teaching the computer classes and stuff. So when we do a little extra stuff like this, I'm just telling you stuff that either I personally would recommend to somebody, a friend or family member, if they ask me these questions, or I'm just telling you about my personal experience. Okay, I'm not being paid by any company i'm getting paid by the library to teach stuff so there we go right there all right so let's go ahead let's talk about uh what we're going to cover okay first we're going to talk about saving money okay which is kind of my main goal so it's been many years ago at this point but i basically had uh, a family member that said hey uh, we're going to cut the the cable and i had to direct tv at the time and that um, they had uh, Comcast TV at the time. So we're gonna cut the cable because it's just costing too much a month. I said, okay. And she said, you're gonna cut yours too. And we're gonna figure out how the whole antenna thing is gonna work. I said, okay. 
and you're going to find us a solution. I said, all right, we're going to try to figure this out. So the goal kind of was to kind of save money, okay? And the other part of it is what I want to watch when I want to watch it, okay? So being able to watch things kind of on demand, as you might say, instant watch, uh, whatever I want to watch when I want to sit down and watch it, have a program that came on tonight, well, I want to see it later, okay? Well, there you go right there. So we're actually going to have three parts of our class. Our first part is going to be about our antennas and try to answer a lot of questions about that. So we're going to talk about what you'll need. Okay. We'll talk about the different types of antennas. We'll talk about is my TV digital ready, okay? And we'll also talk about our digital TV converter, okay? If your TV needs one, there you go. We'll also talk about internet streaming TV. So we're gonna talk about what will I need? What devices will I need? What can I get free with ads? Free, woo, woo, woo. So believe it or not, most of the class, <laughs> okay, I'll say two thirds of the class will be basically be talking about things that you can get for free. Now, the streaming TV, of course, you have to have the internet to be able to get that stuff. But most of the stuff, two, two thirds of the stuff we're gonna talk about, basically you can talk about getting stuff for free, okay? And then we're gonna talk about, of course, top paid services with Netflix and Hulu. We'll get show you a sample of that. And then we'll talk about something that's still relatively new, live streaming TV, okay? Within the past year, it's really exploded. Live streaming TV is basically just like watching um, streaming, uh, just like watching cable channels that you've clicked to um, with uh, watching it through a device, uh, just like you would turn to that channel and whatever program is on there, that's what you're watching, okay? But then we get some extra abilities too, which we'll talk about that. And then I'll give you a little bit of a uh, um, homework. And the big thing about that is what do you really watch, okay? So if there is a way that you can find something or get something and watch it a different way, okay? Maybe watch it at a lower price, watch it for free even. If that's what you're really watching a lot, well, then maybe the cord cutting you know, might be for you, okay? And then I have a little bit extra there. Some folks will come in and they'll talk about cord cutting, but they also want to talk about saving money on their telephone bill as well. So I've got information about that and we'll talk about that. So before we get started, does anybody have any questions? Okay. And I'll kind of answer my own questions sometimes because uh, teaching the class, you know, a lot in person, uh, I get some of the same questions or I'll get questions that I think are important. And I'll just kind of answer those to myself. Okay. But definitely feel free to post any questions into the chat. I'm happy to answer them, okay? So let's go ahead and let's get started here. So why cut the cord? Clip, clip. Well, the big thing is being able to save money, okay? Like I said, Consumer Report says the average pay TV bill is about $106 and it's on the rise, okay? So I was paying about $150 um, my family member was paying about $150 as well, had three boxes for three TVs and had to have the DVR uh, boxes to pay th for as well, had to pay to rent those. Um, so there you go, that's similar to what they were doing as well. Uh, so after buying antenna, a live TV is free, okay? So after you get an antenna, the TV is actually free, that's the only cost is buying the antenna. And of course, the saying you'll hear me say it a few times, don't pay for TV, you can get for free, okay? Don't pay for TV and get for free. So is a lot of the things you're watching just on the, the local ABC, NBC, CBS, and the local Fox, okay? Are there other free channels that you can get that you might be interested in? We'll talk about that too. So basically, uh, things like uh, the lo you know, locally, 
course, you know, it's, it's state and national and worldwide too, but the Masters, can you watch the Masters for free? Absolutely, you can watch the Masters on an antenna, okay? Can you watch the Super Bowl for free? Absolutely, with an antenna. Can you watch when the Olympic Games or Winter Games or anything like that comes on? Absolutely, you can watch that for free with an antenna. So some of the really, really big sporting events, some of the really big, you know, kind of worldwide or national things that are really important and stuff, don't miss a lot of the times those really are just on the normal TV uh, channels. And we can usually get those for free uh, with our antenna, okay? Uh, the other thing is having more options, okay? So on-demand services start at free. So I'm going to talk about free a lot to begin with. And then as low as $6, okay? Some folks will say, well, I feel like I'm being nickeled and dimed and all this, but do you realize that all the different services I talk about, there's no contract for those. There's actually, you can pick and choose which one you want. You can try Netflix for a month and then cancel it. You can try... Um, Hulu for a month and then cancel it or whatever you want. You can kind of switch around and see what's out there, see what you're interested in. And because these are not uh, monthly, you know, these are not you know, like two year signed contracts or anything, you can kind of jump around and pick and choose. Okay. I know someone that um, wants to watch uh, things on AMC on demand stuff. And one of the things they'll do is when they, they're interested in it, they'll get a Sling uh, subscription for about a month or two, watch all the stuff on there, or watch their favorite shows that are on there, and then cancel. And they're fine with that because it's not a long-term contract, okay? Uh, watching exclusive movies and shows is a big one, okay? So getting more options. For myself, one of the things my family was doing was really were watching Netflix on, you know, the on-demand streaming Netflix, and that's what we were mainly watching, okay? So we'd flip through the TV channels with DirecTV, maybe watch stuff that we had DVR'd or programmed or even had the issue where the electricity cut off so it didn't get a copy of the show we wanted, um, but then just go ahead and open up Netflix and watch something on there instead because that, come to find out, was mainly what we were watching, okay? So let's talk about antennas, and then we'll talk about streaming uh, services like Netflix, and then we'll talk about live streaming TV, okay? So the old way with the antennas and kind of the way people still think about them, uh, only a few channels, a lot of static, static, and kind of the rabbit ears on top, flipping the channel back and forth here, you know, trying to watch X-Files in the late 90s. It was very difficult anytime they went in the woods. You couldn't see anything because you had that little bit of static going on. <laughs> oh no, what are they doing there in the woods? I don't know what they're doing. They can't see. So the old way was we would get a little bit of static or snow, people would say, with our signal unless it was absolutely perfect. Well, the new way is a digital signal. I won't go into why we switched over, but a lot of it does have to do with um, the cell phone wanting that bandwidth. Um, so they came up with the compressing, making it digital, the signal, uh, so the cell phone towers would have more space and other things could have more space too. So the cool part about it is not only can the, the old way, the analog was basically they would put out one channel, but with the digital, they can actually compress it and it actually can have more than one channel on one signal. Okay, well, kind of when I show you what channels are available, you should be able to um, kind of grasp that pretty quickly, okay? So the new digital HD uh, antenna signal, okay, what, what happens with it? Well, more channels, most are in HD or high, high definition, okay? All are digital quality, okay? So even if it's, or you don't get it, okay? But best of all, what? Best of all, it's free. Okay, so again, I'm talking about something free. Now, I will say sometimes when we start talking about uh, what antenna to get, you know, and pointing it in the right direction and things like that, someone says, point in the right direction? That's right. Are you pointing your antenna in the right direction? Do you have the right? They only had like one, and then they had one that was, they had this big one here, which is one that I used to get. I mean, I bought, I used to get, like I bought it more than once. 
I live, bought that one. And I'll tell you a little bit about a story about where I used to live and how that worked uh, in just a minute. I'll talk about that in just a minute, okay? So the big thing is uh, free antenna TV. Uh, what do you need, okay? Well, your TV needs to be digital ready, and we'll talk about that in a minute. Need to know how far are you from the signal? Hmm, interesting, interesting. Could this have helped us uh, when we were trying to get the old antenna signal? Yeah, actually, actually it would have helped us. Hmm, interesting, let's think about that. Do you need an antenna that's indoor or outdoor? When we look at our picture here, you can see that they're actually talking about the antenna range, okay? The range from the antenna, 20, 0 to 25 miles, 0 to 50 miles, 0 to 60, okay? Antenna range. Uh, what about our cost? Well, we're talking about 15 to maybe $100, okay, for this really, really big one down here. I paid $89 uh, for mine when I got it, okay? And then optional, but very, very recommended, is the uh, compass, okay? Most of our cell phones that are smartphones, of course, have a compass built in. Hmm, why would we need that? Why would we need a compass, okay? All right, so they're trying to kind of get you interested there. Let's go ahead and let's talk about, is my TV digital ready, okay? If it looks like this, it's not digital ready, okay? Uh, flat screen HD TVs already have, I will say most, already have the digital signal receiver built in, okay? An older TV, it needs a converter box, okay? So you may have a TV that looks like this, perfectly working. You could have a family member that you're trying to look into this to try to save them money. Maybe they're only really watching the local channels and they're playing, paying a large subscription fee or something like that. So what are the options? Well, here's one right here. You can get a converter box that'll plug into any of the older TVs. Some people may still have a big big screen projection TV and it's working great and they go, well, when this bus, then I'll get a new one. That's fine. Just get you a little, they, I've seen these. Some of these are as cheap as uh, $40, $50, and some of these may even have um, a USB plug on the side of it so you can pl plug a flash drive in and then you could actually record the antenna signal. Okay, so do realize that when you look into it. I haven't seen a TV that has that option. I'm sure there are, there is one out there somewhere, but I haven't seen that option. So if it's an older TV, you need a converter box, but with the antenna, you'll be converter box and antenna, you're good to go. Okay, let's talk about what range is my antenna. Okay, so this is kind of an example of our CSRA. Augusta, North Augusta, Evans, Martinez, Lincolnton, uh, you know, kind of kind of grid map, okay? So you can go to this website. There are some other websites and I have them listed as well. And basically you can type in your direct address if you want to, or you can just type in your zip code. This is just kind of a zip code one. And it actually will pop up here at the bottom and it'll give you, you may say this gives me too much information, but the only thing that you're really looking at is right here where it says distance, okay? That's the only one that we, well, except for the other one. That's the main one that we're interested in, okay? Distance from tower. So immediately, if you put in your zip code or put in your street address, or you could just tell the street, you don't have to tell the number, and it'll give you a little bit more accurate information. And that will let you know what kind of antenna you need. So guess where our signal's coming from? It's actually coming from North Augusta. I'm happy to say that all of the signals, except for PBS, uh, is actually coming from uh, North Augusta now because they're all coming from high atop Thunder Hill. That's what the radio used to say. Uh, high atop Thunder Hill, our signal comes from that. So kind of our highest point in our CSRA is uh, where the signal's coming from. And that's where we should actually point our antenna as well. So basically, if you go to this website here, as the crow flies to North Augusta, it actually pops up and tells us exactly what direction we should point in. I would tell you the PBS one is actually a little bit off uh, from that, but usually we can get the PBS as long as we don't have kind of any trees in the way and stuff. 
So let's talk about what antenna we need to get. So we now we know how far away we are from the signal, okay? And I'll also answer the question of what is the best antenna to get, okay? So what antenna do I need? Okay, an indoor range up to 25 miles. Do you live in Augusta? Do you live in North Augusta? Then this could possibly be all you need, okay? Is an indoor 25 because you're very close to the signal. For the rest of us and Martinez, Evans or so, something a little bit bigger. So let's talk about our indoor ones. These are ones that kind of uh, will sit either on the TV. This is one that's made to be behind the TV. The big thing about this is make sure that your TV is not covering up your signal in any way. I wouldn't put one of these behind the TV unless the signal was coming from behind the TV or North Augusta was facing, yeah. Unless my back of my TV was facing North Augusta, that's a better way to say that. Um, then I wouldn't get one of these unless I could put it like on a window or something. What about outdoor? Ah, there's your classic. There's your really, really big one. That's the one that I got. So let me tell you a little story about my experience. So basically had canceled DirecTV. And at the time I lived a little bit, you had to drive down uh, from the street to get to my house and they had their TV had actually come up and put the antenna um, Excuse me had put the satellite dish up at the street. So they had actually run the cables and everything um, going up the street. So Basically had the cables going back and forth. They 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 took the satellite dish returned the box and basically all I did for the first step was I got an antenna. I knew I needed a big one, okay? So I went and I took it, and the, there was a pole that was left there. So I went, I took something like, one like this, put it in the big pole uh, that was in the ground, and screwed in the coax cable, or the cable cable, whichever you wanna call it, and uh, went inside and then told the TV to scan for channels, and it picked up some. It was like, yeah, all right. So that was really my big thing. Um, making sure I had it pointed in the right direction was also a big one as well. Now, they do sell other different ones. This is actually one that I've seen at Best Buy. This is the Best Buy name brand. So if you think, um, well, the, they don't think the Best Buy and different electronics companies, they don't really think that this cord cutting antenna thing is gonna last. Well, what I told you, they're actually making antennas and uh, antenna boosters and stuff like that too. Can you get an antenna booster? Yes, you can. The only thing is it doesn't really make your, uh, it, it doesn't really make your signal stronger. It just makes the, um, let me see if I can say this in the right way. It doesn't improve your antenna strength. It just uh, boosts the signal, okay? So it won't take a indoor antenna put a booster on it, and then you get all the same channels you could with the outdoor antenna. No, it doesn't work that way. It just boosts the signal that it receives, all right? So if you got a little bit of a booster or something. So, in class, I would actually show So I guess I'll virtually show as well. And here's one of the neat antennas. This is one, it's like a freeway. You've probably seen this in a few of the few of the stores. The good thing about it is it has the little coax cable screw right there. You could put this on the back of your TV. I would probably say this is maybe about a 15 mile antenna. I played around with it and had some, uh, oh, it's interesting, it kind of disappears right about there. Anyway, um, I've kind of had some uh, success with this. It has a little bit of a stand, but mostly it's making sure that there's absolutely no trees around. So if you are trying to set up an antenna outside, have trees covering over it in any way, try to get those trees out of there, or at least kind of move it in a way that the trees aren't above it because that could actually stop the signal. So um, even if even if you if you have what you really want, of course, is a clear sky. 
towards uh, North Augusta for our CSRA area, okay? And there's another way that you can actually pinpoint uh, what the actual signal is. There's actually apps that you can use. Uh, one of them is called TV Towers, okay? Let's see, so I'll take a screenshot of it because it's actually that way. <laughs> this is interesting. So I actually pulled this app up and there's many apps that are like this. It basically shows you where you should point your antenna. You won't have to worry about the, uh, the um, anyway, the coordinates that it gives off because it knows where you are, your location. And if I take a, a picture of this, You can actually see what the uh, what I'm pointing at. So when I turned it, the needle kind of moved around. It shows most of the signals are actually coming from that direction, which is North Augusta. Okay, so there's apps you can use. There's also will tell us what's actually available to watch, which we're about to talk about that, and we're about to talk about our little Roku in just a minute too. And I want to show you. Here's a booster. Okay. Basically, it's uh, less than 20 bucks. I think I got this one at Lowe's or someplace. The GE one. Walmart's been selling a lot of different little boosters for a pretty cheap price. But again, it basically won't really, it amplifies the signal it receives. It doesn't, it doesn't um, replace like an outdoor antenna. So if someone says, what, what is the best antenna? An outdoor antenna up and away from trees is the best antenna. <laughs> Okay, uh, <laughs> and some of them will say something like 60 miles, 65 miles, or something like that. But remember, we're talking about an investment where you buy something now, have it for five years, have it for 10 years or more, and whatever your initial investment was, just remember everything else is free, okay? So everything you get off that antenna will be free. So let's talk about what we expect to get off the antenna in our CSRA area, okay? So right now, most of us in the CSRA area, of course, like I said, uh, up as high as you can get it, um, away from tr um, trees, anything covering it, making sure you're pointing in the right direction. Uh, I've actually been um, lucky because my new house I moved into, the main uh, room that we're watching TV in actually faces uh, North Augusta distance, so I basically just had to put a antenna just kind of out the door, and I haven't had to go around and drill a bunch of holes with cords or anything like that. Um, so, having the antenna out there, gotten basically all the channels except for PBS. Okay, having an issue getting PBS, but there are a lot of trees that I cannot cut down because <laughs> they're not on my property. Um, but yeah, or there, I don't want to cut them down uh, just because they're blocking the, the TV signal. Okay, so you might you will kind of run into that a little bit too. So let's talk about what channels that we re should receive uh, for free. So we get our local ABC, local CBS, NBC, and local Fox. Okay, CW. So this is from a uh, TVGuide.com, and I just typed in the basically say antennas type in my zip code and it comes up with the channels and these are the channels that I'm basically receiving okay so we have our ABC now because we get uh, WJBF news channel 6 it actually pops up and we get not only 6 but we also get 6 point um, we also get 6.2 6 6.3 and 6.4 so if you get one signal okay you'll get the other signals from that channel as well okay because it can be compressed so ABC, local ABC here is one of the more powerful ones. Um, one that's pretty easy to get. So let's talk about what kind of stuff that we can kind of expect to see on here. Well, number one, our local stuff, our local news, which is very important to watch the local news. Okay, it really will affect us um, with lots of different, lots of different reasons, especially weather, you know, alerts or anything like that and also giving us local news, which we can't get that. 
it's good to watch the national news and stuff like that, but do you realize that it's a lot of times the local news affects us quicker and more, and you'll get a lot of information too. All right, so um, there's this, I think this is on a Saturday at 7 p.m. I kind of captured it. Um, some local shows on there, Maker's Fun's Home Videos. Uh, what is 6.2? Uh, That's actually Me TV. okay? Uh, right there, they're showing some uh, silly shows. And then on every Saturday night at 8 o'clock, Sven Gooley comes on. It's a very silly show. They cl show kind of classic horror movies, black and white, Dracula, uh, Frankenstein, The Blob, stuff like that. And it's a guy that comes out of a coffin and talks about it. So very family friendly, very funny and kind of silly and stuff. And it's a big one to remember. It's out of Chicago and MeTV now is covering that uh, show. So it's very exciting. Uh, so we have our other channels here, kind of the Ion Network. And I won't go into too much of all of these. Uh, MeTV shows lots and lots of different rerun shows. Uh, classic TV channels. And there's some folks that... Um, they do they do rotate the shows, um, so I won't go into all the kind of stuff that they have on there. Usually they have like Star Trek on Saturday night. I believe Lost in Space is still coming on. They'll show Twilight Zone, Perry Mason shows, westerns, all kinds of stuff. Andy Griffith, uh, you kind of name it, they kind of they kind of have it in a rotation. So Ion is kind of like our murder mystery shows are on there. Sixty six point two four. Murder Mystery Shows, there's our CBS channel, Wheel of Fortune, all that kind of good stuff. Here's some other, like another rerun kind of show. Uh, they'll show some of the Dateline stuff. They kind of view that as their sister channel, the 12.2. And 12.3 is kind of their uh, MeTV, so they kind of show repeats of stuff on there. This is kind of a newer channel we have. It's called The Circle. They show a lot of country stuff on there. They'll show Grand Old Opry, and they're even showing Hee Haw. <laughs> uh, classic comedy show, Hee Haw. There you go. All right, so if you can get the PBS channels, you should actually be getting four PBS channels. Someone says, why? Why well, be getting four? Well, the main one, of course, has the main uh, shows on there. During the day, most during the weekday, it's mostly kids stuff, but then it'll get into showing things like Father Brown, uh, uh, mystery, uh, the mystery theater shows. It used to be Sherlock and, and stuff like that was very popular. Of course, Dalton Abbey um, and all that. Their second shows mostly cooking is mostly what it is. So you'll see uh, Martha Stewart on there a lot. Uh, cooking shows, Test Kitchen. Uh, the third one is kind of like a travel channel or they'll be showing some uh, music acts and stuff. But the fourth one is basically a 24 hours a day, seven days a week, kids channel. So they're basically showing kids programs all the time, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Okay, learning, learning. Let me be was there, learning stuff, you know, from PBS and everything. Whoop. We have our 26 affiliate, 26.1, 26.2, 26.4. So we get all that kind of good stuff, rerun stuff, also American Ninja War, and um, they have a classic kind of TV show channel as well. I will tell you this, and I won't go into it too much detail. I have a links at the end that you could actually go in and uh, look at that if you're interested. They're actually doing something they call, um, well, I won't go into that too much, but they, they if you've had some issues with the signals recently, go ahead and tell it to rescan because they have been kind of shuffling around the signals for some of the channels because they've been doing a recompress, okay? So anyway, just kind of realize that, have any issues with the channels, tell it to do a rescan. And you really should do a rescan probably about every two months or so, okay? Okay, so this is our um, channels coming out here, more religious channels coming out of North Augusta. This one here, This these two actually are kind of interesting now because a lot of them just kind of play music on there or almost become like a QVC. Here's our Fox uh, local 50, 50 um, WJBF, no, ugh, WG, ugh, WFXG, yeah, WFXG. No, that's not it either. <laughs> anyway, I'll get it here in just a minute here. But it's our local Fox affiliate with the local um, Fox stuff on there. 
the Fox shows, the reality shows, baseball, and you know, whichever, whatever they're going to have, um, the Super Bowl coming on and stuff. And then, of course, they have some of their their affiliate as well. Now, this one here is actually a movie channel. It's called Bounce. This one here is called Grit. These two kind of show movies most of the time. Okay, um, action movies, western movies. Uh, of course, they you know all have commercials because this is just kind of you know it's not it's free TV, so it has commercials with ads. And down here, believe it or not, this is actually Court TV. Yes, Court TV is back, okay? So if you had a fr friend or family member that loved Court TV, guess what, it's actually back, and you can actually get it through Pluto TV as well, which we'll talk about that in just a minute, okay? So that's kind of a bit of an overview of kind of what channels to expect here in our CSRA with an antenna. Remember, I said up, no trees, blocking the signal, and uh, you know having the right antenna. So let's go ahead now let's talk about our streaming services okay our streaming services and this of course you need Wi-Fi probably prefer to have um, excuse me need the internet and it's probably preferred to have Wi-Fi just so that some of these devices are Wi-Fi only okay so you can't actually physically plug it into the Ethernet cable a uh, big one is device con con connected to your TV Yes, each TV will need its own device. Usually I get asked that a lot. Can I do a splitter? No, because because if you did a HDMI splitter, that could cost more than a new device. And and I, the headache of that and trying to run it. No, no, no. Just think, just realize each TV is going to need their own uh, device. Okay. And we'll talk about our devices in a minute. A paid monthly subscription for premium services. And we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about the new Peacock service too. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's start talking about our devices straight out of the gate. Okay, it's interesting because this used to be something that I talked about later, and then when we talked about our streaming services, a lot of folks will say, "Now, what, 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 what do I have to do?" Okay, well, here we are right here. So these are basically your main choices. Okay, there's some kind of uh, you know other ones that you can do. But this is really the main, you know, the ones that you want to, to be able to choose from. I personally recommend the Roku um, as the main one. Okay, I like Roku. They use they're they're kind of they kind of um, they're kind of a part of Netflix, but they also support basically everything everybody else does. Okay, uh, Roku pretty much tries its best to have everything on it being all all in one, and it works really well. Don't really have any problems with the Roku. It just kind of works. The other one is an Amazon Fire Stick, which is the, this is one of them right here. Just remember that like Roku has three different models, uh, pretty much for anybody's budget. You know, the cheapest one's 35. Uh, I think the one that's like 45 or 50 or so, the big bonus of that is you can turn the TV on and off and control the volume um, uh, with just the one remote. So would I recommend that? Yeah, I would, trust me, it's worth 15 20 bucks more than I have to find the other remote all the time. It's great. Okay. <laughs> I remember being real excited when that when that happens, like oh, it can turn the TV on and off and turn the TV volume up and down. I want one of those. So there you go, right there. Roku is my big recommendation. Amazon Fire Stick. They also have a more of a premium one with the Apple TV. Okay. So we're talking about a premium cost. Uh, the Chromecast basically has come out, and I think I can show that real quick. Uh, yeah, okay. So, let me see. They're actually coming out with, so my biggest complaint basically about the Chromecast, which is from Google, has basically been it not having a remote, okay? So when you look at our main devices, and I'm going to talk about this one in just a second, talk about our main devices, our Roku, Amazon Fire, Apple TV, which is our very premium service. We actually have our Chromecast little device. The biggest thing about this, and I have one of those, 
biggest thing about this is it doesn't have a remote. You use apps like on your cell phone to be able to connect and sorry about that. Have apps on your cell phone that you connect and you basically cast things to it. Okay. So that's why it really made more of my recommendation of a Roku or the Amazon because they had remotes. Instead of worrying about, I need to pause the TV. Oh, well, I'm controlling it with my cell phone. Oh, the phone just rang. I can't pause the TV because I'm on the phone. So uh, believe it or not, this is actually coming out. And I'll show this real quick. This is actually the, I know. Oh, hold on. That thing's beeping because it didn't like me doing that. This is the uh, new, and I haven't heard any reviews about it yet. This is the new Chromecast that's supposed to come out. Okay, basically in the next you know week or so, it does have a remote. Okay, and it looks like uh, they basically have a YouTube because Google owns YouTube, Netflix button. Okay. And like I said, I haven't really seen anybody, you know, using it or reviews of it, but just realized my biggest complaint about it is it is the older models didn't have a remote. Now they are adding a remote to it, and we'll have to look about that more in the future when they actually become, uh, I, I guess you'd say, uh, hanging out in the real world, okay? When those actually start to become more available in the real world, we'll get to go little, know a little bit more information about them, okay? So that's what the new Chromecast looks like. Okay, and it has a remote. Okay, so does it have volume control or any of that? I don't know any of that yet because it hasn't really come out yet. So just realize that that is coming out, um, you know, in the future. We get to talk about future stuff on here. All right, so let's talk about what this is right here. And then we'll kind of jump over to over here. So this is actually our uh, uh, peacock box is what I like to call it okay and this is actually Comcast streaming box okay they call this flex uh, I guess for, for flexibility and it actually comes with um, this remote right here okay it does have the volume up and down um, one of the big pluses of the Roku is that here's the Roku remote. One of the big pluses is the older Roku. One of the big pluses of the Roku remote is if I actually pl pr um, press the home button on here, if I'm at a different input, which a lot of folks have issues with that, family members trying to figure all that out. Um, if you're on TV uh, trying to switch back, all I got to do is hit the home button on here or the newer remotes will actually have buttons here that say Netflix or Hulu on them press that Chromecast will actually automatically change the input to that and then boom you're right on there so it's it's just a you know God sent instead of where's the remote how do I do inputs and all that believe it or not this remote and it's just kind of a small complaint but if you're trying to switch to this box you got to switch figure out the whole input thing again with your TV it doesn't do it automatically like the Roku does but this is a free box that um, Xfinity will send you just let them know that you're requesting it um, the first one is free but if you want an additional one they talk about five dollars um, to be able to do it now the reason we really want this is and the used to is because we'll talk about the peacock service from Xfinity in just a second there's a free version and um, one that has more content on it that they charge five dollars for if you have this box and very happy to say that the peacock service will soon is soon be if it's not already soon be on the Roku Roku as well so the last time we taught this class the only service that the peacock was on was basically your cell phone or your tablet and then on this box okay so they are actually going to um, work out a deal so that the peacock service could be on the Roku as well okay so we're going to talk more about that on a little bit later so let's talk talking about our other things here too so you may have a blu-ray player a DVD player that may say it say it does Netflix or even Hulu or any of the other services shoot I didn't mean to do that and also a smart TV that may have some of these services too do you realize that if um, you can go to these, you know, these TVs, app stores, or devices, and see if those channels that you're interested in are 
or apps are available. Roku will call them channels. I'd rather call them apps because it makes more sense when I say the YouTube app. Okay. So some of these may be limited. Just realize that a Samsung TV that's newer can have a whole lot more. And to answer the question that I've had one student in the past go and say, okay, so a smart TV is kind of just has a Roku in it. Yeah, it's kind of like that, okay? So do realize if one of your your um, your TV smart devices doesn't support everything you want, you could always add one of these devices to it, okay? All right, so um, if you do have a gamer in your house, do realize that these game consoles actually support um, watching Netflix and Hulu and many of the other uh, apps as well, okay? And some of these you can actually get an extra remote to control those so anybody else in the family can control those as well. All right, so let's talk about our free services, okay? Who wants to talk about free? I want to talk about free. Free sounds great. <laughs> free, 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 free. All right, one of the biggest things that I really recommend is the YouTube app, okay? So the YouTube app is kind of, uh, I can't under do an understatement about how important the YouTube app is, how much content is on YouTube. Of course, we're on YouTube right now. <laughs> if you want to watch this on your big screen TV, you could. Um, but it ranges. I know most people will say, well, I thought YouTube was just for music videos and and uh, kind of funniest home videos uh, kind of stuff. We're like, mm, yes, but it's so much more. Uh, throwing in the word how to, like how to plant, plant sunflowers, you'll pick up great videos. There's even people that are like veterinarians that do videos on there. Technical stuff for myself, I use constantly. Have a question about something, someone's probably made a YouTube video about it, um, explaining it. Okay, so. YouTube can't really understate how um, the resources on YouTube. Now, if you actually sign up for YouTube, which of course is free, um, one of the things a lot of people may not realize is that different companies will post clips of their content on YouTube. So you could actually use YouTube as basically a news source. I know our WJBF News Channel 6 posts videos on their YouTube channel all the time. Um, it allows me to see local news, local events, and even share it with friends or family or quickly post something on Facebook or someplace else if I wanted to. Uh, just let everybody know about an upcoming event or just an interesting news article. Um, but there's other national news that post stuff in there. So a lot of content, and you'll also probably start liking someone else that posts stuff, opinions of movies, all kinds of stuff, stuff you're interested in. There's even, I've even stumbled upon a recent, um, uh, it's a hummingbird uh, channel and it's a lady, I think it's in California, that has like 10 hummingbird feeders and she's been feeding them for more than 10 years and it's just like, it's like a swarm of hummingbirds that she'll film in really high resolution and sometimes she films them with uh, slow motion cameras too. And it's a, um, it'll actually be live or there'll be other, some other videos she posts too. So a lot of content out there. A good example is like CBS News posts lots of clips on YouTube. Most of the national news affiliates have um, their own channel on there. So is it live news? Um, YouTube will sometimes post live things on there, but it's mostly pre-recorded stuff. But you want to know what's going on for free. That's one good way that you can find that. Look in YouTube, the news affiliates or anything like that. Now, let's start talking about some of our other stuff here. YouTube had a, uh, a higher thing called Red, but um, basically nobody purchased that. <laughs> um, so, interesting is Red actually had the new Netflix show, uh, the new version of the Karate Kid, the Cobra Kai show and not many people watched it. Now it's on Netflix and it's a huge, huge, uh, huge big deal apparently. It's like the number one show in America right now. Okay, so let's talk about some of our other apps, okay? PBS Kids app allows you to watch lots of PBS content, okay? 
There's also a PBS app. Uh, there is a two tier to that, but of course there's lots of free stuff on there as well. If you want a free uh, national news um, program, CBS News Live is 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and uh, it's an app that you can install and basically you can watch free national news um, all the time. It's just CBS News, okay? And it's live, okay? Let's talk about uh, the CW if you have a teenager or someone that's really big into um, superhero stuff or even things like Riverdale or anything, any shows like that. Uh, the CW has a free app and they have a ton. Of, and we should get the CW with your antenna, by the way. They actually have a ton of... Um, programs on there and it's kind of one of the ways uh, my family would watch certain shows uh, you know Riverdale and stuff like that uh, with family and of course it's free and they, they pretty much the latest show would come out just a few days later um, so for free that's one of the things they're doing with their content so lots of superhero stuff too let's talk about movies and TV okay does Sony have a place to put their movies and TV for free? Absolutely, it's called Crackle, okay? I know that's a funny name, <laughs> but it's a Crackle app. Another one that's coming out is Tubi. Lots of free content on there, lots of kind of retro movies from the 80s and 90s on there. If you have a Roku, the Roku channel has its own, um, the Roku has its own channel that has um, lots of movies on there. And remember, these are all ad-supported programs, so we're all talking about it's going to have commercials, okay? Um, Peacock is, the, of course, I said the newer one. This is from Comcast. Um, lots, of inform lots of stuff on there. They actually have three-tier service. The first one is completely free. Um, you basically just have to sign in with the username and password, watch the content there, and, and, and $5 you can actually get um, more content which still has commercials and they have a $10 one um, which has no commercials or at least most of the things have no commercials on there with the box with the box here you can actually get the second tier which is the uh, premium what they call the well not premium but the I'll, I'll say the more content one okay there, like I said, there's a free one. There's one that's $5. You actually get the $5 a month um, for free uh, while you're using this box. And I believe um, when it actually becomes more live, we'll actually know about it being uh, Peacock being on the Roku. And I believe that that's the $5 uh, free because you have Comcast already. So it's kind of their answer to, yeah, we've got a streaming service too. And you get it free with your Comcast internet. Okay, so if you don't have Comcast TV, that's okay because you still get the Peacock um, for Comcast uh, streaming for free. Okay, I'm glad we've had to add this because it gives us another choice. So there's lots and lots of different ones. These are kind of the main ones. Now, I'm going to talk about Pluto, and believe it or not, Pluto already comes put in this Comcast box. Okay, and uh, I believe Tubi's on there too. So let's talk about Pluto now used to I would actually say hey um, let hey there's uh, this thing called Pluto it has a lot of content and you should really check it out it's great it's completely free and then I'd move on but I feel like it's it's really really grown a lot so let's talk about our channels that are on our Pluto TV they've recently added a Star Trek channel okay so it shows Star Trek movies. It'll show Star Trek Next Generation um, and some of the other shows, okay? There is a CSI channel. It'll show uh, CSI um, shows, CSI Miami, and CSI New York episodes as well. Pluto does have on-demand stuff, so I will say most of their content I'm about to talk about, you can actually go to where it says uh, free movies and TV and watch it there. Remember, this is completely free. Um, does this, all of this have commercials? Yes, all of Pluto has commercials, um, but this is great. One of the things they've talked about is that they are adding more content, and they've actually, within the last year, have basically grown some, you know, like 60% um, more watchers than they had 
uh, previously within the last year. Okay, so this isn't going away, this is growing. So here's kind of a list of the channels. Some of these may have been updated or renamed, but basically just kind of gives you an idea of the content here. The one of the big things here is they have movie channels based on genre. So even if you did have an HBO and all those other extra premium movie channels, um, and of course they wouldn't have commercials you know, in between the movies, I'll say that. Just realize that if you're looking for someone that has internet, a uh, streaming, um, free streaming service, Pluto's a great one to have. Um, you know, like I said, it's free. Lots of movie channels, horror, you flip to the suspense channel, the thrillers channel, and it's playing movies. So these are all movies right here. There's a Paramount Movies channel. I was watching the, the movie Sabrina. Um, the originals, black and white Sabrina on that just the other day. They have a CM, CMT Westerns channel, 80s Rewind channel, TV cult fate on films channel, cult movies channel, which is kind of neat. Um, karate channel. Uh, the Asylum makes kind of crazy, silly, uh, kind of rip-off movies. Those are on there too. Um, and all kinds of different stuff. Documentary, action. Um, I believe they've actually added a suspense channel and a different horror movie channel. So it's all movies, uh, different entertainment. One of the things that they've connected up is with Viacom. So they're getting a lot of content from Viacom. That does mean a lot of reality shows uh, from MTV and stuff. So uh, BET, Spike TV, and they're also having a lot of um, other stuff too. So classic TV, British TV, Mr. Bean. I flipped to that and we're showing a Mr. Bean episode I'd never seen before, um, which was hilarious. And I'm like, I thought I'd seen all the Mr. Beans. It's like, no, this is one I hadn't seen before. They also have uh, cartoon channels that you can flip to. One, one's called a Saturday Morning Cartoons, and they show uh, classic cartoons, kind of like uh, Sam and Max, the Brand Teenage Witch cartoon, and I think a Tales from the Crypt cartoon, which is kind of neat. The new section over here, the biggest star here, is where it says the Weather Nation. So, um, and I'll talk about it a little bit, because most people will raise their hand and say, if I cut the cable today, how will I get the Weather Channel? It's like, well, there is a way to get the Weather Channel. You have to pay for it. But there is an alternative. It's a 24-hour news Weather Nation channel, which is right here. A lot of these channels, the, the CBS N is live. The CNN one and some of the other ones that are listed on here are actually kind of like clips from the channel. It's not live. But if, if that's okay, if you're like, okay, well, it doesn't have to be live. I just kind of want to see the, the news of the day. Um, then you're probably set and it's free. Okay, so cost versus uh, knowing, I guess you would say. <laughs> so has all that. They've actually added um, some other news channels on here too. So uh, other ones that are binge watching, some of my personal favorites um, are listed in here. There's the Unsolved Mysteries channel. Okay, Dog the Bounty Hunter channel. Uh, let's see, Cold Case Files, New Detectives, Forensic Files channels, Wahlberg, Antique Roadshow, like Antique Roadshow, where well, they actually have a channel for that showing um, old episodes of Antique Roadshow, a personal favorite classic Doctor Who channels right here, Midsummer Murders, that crazy wipeout show. They've added a whole bunch more here. I know Adam's Family is now on here um, and a few other ones. Mystery Science Theater 3000, making fun of movies, riffing on movies. Um, it's right here and also the Rift Track guys making fun of movies. So to me, these are kind of like movie channels with comp comedians making fun of them. Okay. Love that. Comedy channels. They even have a dog channel. <laughs> they have a cat's channel. Okay. So it kind of gets kind of silly with some of that stuff. The sports channel stuff. There is a PGA Tour channel. It's not live, but they're showing, they'll show old um, PGA tournaments. So if you're interested in golf. And you want like a golf channel? We'll flip to there. They're good to go. Stadium shows some football stuff. I won't get into that. Um, exactly. Some of these are more like documentary stuff, like the surf channel, like it's doc surf documentaries. Um, exploring. There is a uh, Pluto history channel, Pluto biography channel, military channel, um, travel channel, 
uh, Pluto Travel Channel, Pluto Adventure Channel, Pluto Science Voyager Channel. So showing lots of documentaries and there's a neat one on here called Slow TV. Slow TV a lot of the times is basically really long cross country, cross um, other country train rides. There's also one called Nature. Uh, I think it's right there. Nature Vision. You flip to that. It shows um, basically really great scenes of, let's say, beaches, the waves coming in and out. And they actually have a new one that, that shows art while it's playing music, which is kind of interesting. There's also lifestyle stuff. You like Better Homes and Gardens. They got stuff like Front Door, uh, Food TV, and they also have a uh, one there where the zombie flipper guys come on, um, which is kind of neat. So we have lots of tech stuff, Science Channel, NASA TV is also included here, anime if people are into that, CNET News, IGN, Gaming News, Movie News, TV News, all kinds of stuff uh, there. And let's talk about our kids stuff. Uh, there's a 24 hour a day Dora channel. What about a Nick uh, Jr. channel? Yes, there's a Nick Jr. channel. There's a Nickelodeon Movies channel. Nickelodeon Movies, which is really interesting. Uh, I think it was about, I don't know, a few months ago. Had a family home. We're just flipping through. Flipped to that. It, it came out, came on. It's like, well, look at this. It's the Nick Nickelodeon Movies channel. It was showing some of their own movies that they make. And it was really neat. It was like a, kind of like a Willy Wonka movie uh, that they had made about a, a guy that had a magic store. And it was actually pretty neat. Uh, 24 Hours a Day, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It shows the old episodes in the new sh series. Uh, after School Cartoons. Yes, I know I'm talking about Pluto TV a lot because remember, this is free. And everybody should be pretty excited about this. So I told you it's interesting because this actually comes pre-installed on the Comcast box. So they really are trying to kind of prune out. We have a lot of um, Spanish channels here. And also they have a lot of music channels as well. Some of these have disappeared and they're kind of focused on the music videos channel. One thing that's really neat is during uh, the holidays they'll play like uh, Christmas. It's a Christmas, um, traditional Christmas music videos. And then they had one that's, uh, I think it was like called alternative uh, music videos. Yo MTV uh, rap stuff is on here and like a top Top there it is, MTV's Biggest Pop, which just really means that it's kind of newer um, music videos for songs and stuff. All right, so lots of content on here. Check it out. And sometimes they'll throw in a, a, a James Bond channel. They don't have it all the time, but I've seen them add it back twice and then they take it away. I guess it's just because it's uh, it costs a lot. So they're constantly adding stuff new. Like I said, the Star Trek channel the CSI channel. I really feel like this is something for everybody and it's very easy. You don't have to think about it too much. You go, okay, well, I want to see a thriller movie. Switch over to the thriller channel. There you go. It's already playing. And all this content, you can, I'll see most of this content you can play on demand um, as well. So let's start. I talked a lot about free. Did you enjoy me talking about free? I hope so because now we're not going to talk about free anymore. <laughs> All you needed to have all those things was either an antenna or internet, um, high-speed internet at your house, okay? So just normal um, speed internet, okay? So let's talk about paid services, okay? What paid things do we have going on? Well, of course, we have our Netflix, okay, which is our number one one, Hulu, and we have our new thing that came out in October of last year. So we've actually been going a whole year. Um, if you, uh, hopefully it's still available, you could actually get the Disney Plus for a year uh, through, uh, if you have, uh, if you have Verizon Unlimited service, then you could get uh, Disney Plus free for a year. Um, and if you haven't taken advantage of that, it still might be available. I'm not sure on that. Excuse me. I'm not sure on that, but you'll have, just have to check. The really neat part is also the Disney Plus not only includes their original shows and stuff, which I won't go into, it also includes um, National Geographic content as well, okay? All right, so we actually have 
other services too. Now, this is one where I, I won't say I fuss at people, but I'll have people raise their hands in class and go, okay, who here has Amazon Prime? Amazon Prime is the monthly subscription service that you pay for basically to get free two-day shipping um, from products on Amazon. There's also other things that are included in there. There's a very kind of small music service. Uh, there's a few other things, and it also includes their streaming service, which is called Amazon Prime. Now, I will have people, I say, who here has Amazon Prime? A bunch of people raise their hand. I will say, okay, put your hands down. Um, who here uses Amazon Prime Video? And then usually about half of them will still have their hands up or re-raise their hands or whatever. And I go, oh, no. I said, are you paying for something that you're not using? And you're here trying to talk about cord cutting? Well, as Amazon Prime has its own movies and TV shows as well. If you did want to get it separately, they charge $13 a month for that, but it is included with your Amazon Prime uh, stuff. Lots of original content that's on there. Just, just go into there, check it out. So if you have Amazon Prime and you're not using um, your service because you are paying for it, shame on you. Install the app. Try it out. I'm sure you'll find something on there that you like. There's a lot of Agatha Christie uh, remade movies on there that's really really good that's really good to watch with family and some other um, some premium shows um, which I won't go into as well that's on there so now we're talking about our paid stuff like I said there's a free version of Peacock service and then the inclusive one that actually comes with our box and if you have Comcast internet you can gain access to for free if you don't have Comcast internet then it's five, it's five dollars, and their top tier, their premium is ten dollars, and it says no ads. Okay, now oh this is good because I can change this coming to Roku or it's on Roku now. I have to check that. I've been using the box, so I haven't checked Roku um, in a while, but uh, the, but it's not on Amazon Fire. Okay, but remember you can get you can call Comcast to get that free box. What is Acorn TV now? Acorn TV. Uh, if you want more information about getting Acorn TV, definitely come and join us tomorrow at 2.30 because I'll be talking about lots of free stuff, uh, free library resources uh, from the library. And we'll also be talking about Acorn TV as well. It is, a, it is a $6 a month service. It has lots of British TV shows on there. We'll talk about that more tomorrow. And you can get it for free through the library uh, for in two two week checkouts is the way it works and you can just continuously check it out if you want to and I'll talk to about that more tomorrow in our library resources class okay so plug plug the library class for tomorrow all right so let's do a little bit of a preview of Netflix here um, so Netflix the big thing is they have thousands of TV shows and, and movies they have whole seasons of shows you know, unless it's like a talk show or something, that's kind of their big thing. So when it says, hey, we have this show, it means that they're, they have the whole season. Okay. And what's the biggest thing here? No what? No commercials. That's right. No commercials. So if you're watching something on Netflix, it doesn't have commercials. It's fantastic. No commercials. I know I've read that they asked the CEO, they said, Netflix, they said, you know that some of these other streaming services have commercials, even though people are paying for the service, they still have commercials in them. Uh, Peacock has commercials, okay? Um, uh, you know that you could probably make more money for the stockholders or make more money in the, for the service. Um, if you had no commercial, if you um, added commercials and he said no, Commercials. Netflix will have no commercials. Okay. Uh, the other thing it says excellent stuff for kids. Will this? Will Netflix still have Disney stuff and Nickelodeon? Absolutely, they're going to still have Disney stuff and Nickelodeon. Disney and Nickelodeon make content. They're still going to share it around. The Disney Plus may kind of start to combinate more things on there. Um, personally, I flipped on uh, that, and uh, I actually got to see. Uh, some stuff that some movies that they would use to show in the the movie the Disney Channel, and the interesting thing about it was I remember the Disney Channel uh, more or less would show movies at night, and I remember seeing movies like Nine to Five, 
And one that was on there that was really neat was uh, the black hole. So I got to see that, and uh, it was it was a pretty interesting experience watching that after after a good many years. And I, then I did a little bit of read about that movie, and that was interesting too. So brought up some uh, old old ideas, and of course some of these streaming services will come up and show you movies that you hadn't seen in a long time. Maybe you want to rewatch. Maybe you even want to fast forward to the certain areas. Um, but also it can give you something that you could share with friends or family too, okay? So instead of it just being like a red box movie, being able to have all this other stuff too, uh, you can share it. It's pretty interesting. But the big thing about Netflix and some of the other services, of course, is talking about original content, okay? Disney Plus has some original content as well. They're going to they're gonna start to have more and more and more. Uh, and I'll talk about that more in a little bit too. Uh, so what does Netflix cost? Netflix costs $12.99 a month for right now. And when it went up to this price, because it used to be $10, a lady in the back, she said, it's worth it. And I go, absolutely, it's worth it. Um, because, again, we're talking about content with no commercials, all right? So if you have little bits and they don't want to sit through commercials, they'll get up and start running around the sofa and you're trying to have quiet time or calm down time. Maybe you just did a big activity. Uh, trying to put a show on, um, trying to even turn to the old school Nick Jr. channel when it had commercials. Um, that's not good. Starts running around, watch something on Netflix, no commercials. Um, it says for two screens. Now, Netflix is a little bit more open about sharing uh, passwords and stuff like that. Uh, they asked the CEO, goes, well, what do you think about people that have uh, you know, kids that go off to college or something? And they have, uh, they, the kids take the, the, the password with them and is watching Netflix like in their dorm and stuff. What do you think about that? People, family members sharing Netflix accounts. And the CEO said if they pay for two, two screens, meaning two devices at the time, they should get two devices at the time. Okay? So there are other premium choices they have as well. But do you realize Netflix is really kind of our lifesaver on that one? Hulu sometimes can be not as generous. I will say that. I've had it where I went on vacation and it said because you're connected to a new IP address, uh, you can't watch the content. Um, so I had to watch connect my phone up to the TV. But recently I've had it where I can take my Roku places and Hulu works just fine, okay? So let's kind of look at our Netflix samples of stuff. I know I started talking about a few other things that I actually wanted everybody to know, and I, I didn't want to forget to tell you. So lots of content. Do realize it is a rotation. So when you see something on there and you go back and you see it's not on there anymore, I think it's going to lose the office uh, pretty soon. So the office will move to a different streaming service, and then you, you can watch it on that streaming service. But a lot of the things now that if it's on the sh a streaming service and if it rotates, that means that we get different content. And I did have one class where a gentleman said, I don't want to watch, I'm Matt, I canceled Netflix because they didn't have Lost anymore. And I love Lost. And I've seen it six, the whole series six times. And I, and I go, great. And I think I had a family member look it up and it Lost at the time was actually on Hulu instead. So he's like, oh, okay, I didn't know it was on Hulu. Okay, well, I'll get Hulu and watch it on there. So uh, do realize because we're not in contract, you don't have to have... Um, you know, the, the same service, you can switch back and forth, pick and choose if you want to. So here's kind of a sample of their own original content. Stranger Things, I Am Mother, Lost in Space, I think is getting a new uh, um, pickup. This is a show that started on network TV and then got picked up by then, so it's an exclusive. It's lots of exclusive movies, TV shows, and even some shows that have been dubbed from other languages. And if you're okay with that, you're going to get some really interesting murder mysteries and stuff like that. And it doesn't really feel as international because they, they do a pretty good job with the, the dubbing, okay? So let's talk about Hulu. The big focus of Hulu is the recent TV shows from ABC, CBS, NBC, and Fox. Now, what if I told you because of Disney owns ABC, Disney has bought 20th Century Fox, Okay, that does not include the Fox News Channel. That's a different entity. Okay, but um, that also means that they get content on there. 
And one of the things is uh, they now own, Disney now owns 60% stock in Hulu. That's what our the rumor is, okay? So lots of the content that's going to Hulu is not going to go anywhere. Hulu has two plans. They have a cheap $6 plan. If you do have Spotify, I'm not sure if that deal's still going on, but they used to have it if you had Spotify, and especially if you were a um, student, then you could get Hulu, the commercial version, for free. Okay, so you may want to look into that. Uh, for $12, meaning $6 more, no commercials now. If you're watching a three-minute commercial, and you're watching a movie or TV show, and I told you there's going to be six of those three-minute commercials, would you pay... 25 cents to get rid of those commercials? Well, you might after a while. Um, well, it might be worth getting the no commercial version because sitting there watching the commercials, and believe it or not, a lot of our shows that are an hour, once you get rid of commercials, a lot of those shows now are either 42 or 45 minutes long, <laughs> which is actually pretty amazing. So some of the Hulu content on there, lots of original stuff. ESPN stuff is on here as well. Uh, newer shows that we have on here, housekeeping shows, um, HG Network. So a lot of content that's on um, other TV networks actually comes to this. Kind of classic TV shows are on there as well. Lots of different sources, okay? Now, let's switch over and talk about our live streaming services, okay? Now, our live streaming services, and then, of course, we'll wrap up class and everything. Our live streaming services, um, the big one that people talk about, of course, is it having um, real channels. So this is, you turn it on, you flip to that, and you actually are watching that channel. Okay, you want to watch TNT, you have this, you have your internet, you flip to this, it's on that channel, watching it live. Okay. The people say, what's the cheapest option? I will tell you the cheapest option is Sling TV, okay? Uh, Philo's coming out as well. There's a newer one. We'll see what that does. Sling TV has actually has two tiers of channels. Uh, this is the $30 one. Of course, any, any of the information on here could have changed last night, and I'm aware of it. But do you realize this is mostly accurate? <laughs> Um, so the big thing is Sling TV pushes that it has the main things you want. So Sling TV has a service, Hulu Live. I used to have Sling TV. Sling TV personally gave me a lot of problems. Maybe they fixed that. Now I'm, I actually um, switched over and tried Hulu Live, and it was fantastic, and I've actually stuck with Hulu Live. One thing I really like about Hulu Live is I get my four local channels too, ABC, NBC, CBS, and Fox. And then if I want to see MeTV or, of course, you know, just not use the internet, I'll flip over and use my antenna, okay? So uh, DirecTV has a streaming service called DirecTV Now. Hulu, T um, excuse me, YouTube TV as well. PlayStation is kind of starting to phase it out, but PlayStation views their live TV service Many of them offer cloud recording services, so if you have a favorite show, you don't have to buy a special device to have it recorded. You just like add it to your list, Hulu Live, um, add it to your list, and cool part about it is it, it'll rotate the shows, so once you see a show, it'll automatically delete it. And some of the shows that are like news shows or something, you can actually have it auto-delete them after a while, so you're not worrying about it filling up with um, you know, old content or whatever. So let's the someone will raise their this over here of course is talking about the Hulu Plus to try to kind of clarify this Hulu um, excuse me Disney Plus with the regular version of Hulu and they're including ESPN Plus they're talking about twelve ninety nine okay so they're trying to come in really reasonable now what I foresee what I foresee because Hulu has live channels too I actually foresee in the future. Disney basically offering saying live channels. Now, if you have Disney Plus, do you need Hulu? Well, actually you do because Disney can't really put the newer things 
that it has acquired, let's say, 20th Century Fox movies that are rated R. Does Disney make rated R movies? Yes, Disney does make rated R movies. Usually they're under a subsidiary name, and now they'll probably be listed under not 20th Century Fox, but like Fox... Um, uh, I'm trying to remember what the, the new name of it is. Anyway, under that studio heading, okay? So will there be alien movies? Yes. Does... Um, uh, will those movies come to Disney Plus? No. <laughs> Unless they really change their strategy, they'll put that stuff on Hulu. Okay. So if you really want the the everything that I guess you say a Disney slash 20th Century Fox um, has to offer, then you would want Hulu as well. Okay. So e Disney actually on the ESPN as well too. So I actually see in the future them actually selling some kind of plan that would include the Hulu Live TV, Disney Plus, and ESPN, of course, will be listed in the Hulu Live and all that. Um, and I'll be honest, for a lot of folks, ex except if they wanted some certain things like HBO, um, the new HBO streaming service coming out, Max, or Netflix stuff, a lot of folks, they may get that and they're kind of done because they've gotten what they will probably call Disney TV. Okay, so just be aware of that. Now, the big question I usually get asked, someone raised their hand, said, Hey, you've talked about all kinds of great stuff streaming, but I want to see my national news channels. And I go, Okay, well, I'll tell you that they go, What's the cheapest way I can get those? And I go, Okay, well, boing, 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 boing. Sling TV really pushes that it's the cheapest way to get the, the main live news channels, the CNN, the Fox News, the MSNBC. So whichever you know news channel you're interested in, for $30, you can get it for $30 with Sling. So what am I talking about? I'm talking about if you got your an antenna, you can get all your local news there. So if your streaming service doesn't have all the local channels on there, if you want it to be as cheap as possible. So I'm talking about you could have a bill right now, $150, $100, Drop it down to thirty dollars if you wanted to, okay. After you just buy, you know, the the Roku or whatever, the Amazon Fire Stick or the antenna, however you want to do it, just so that you have more options. Now, this is when someone in the back will raise their hand and said, "Okay, well, during the holidays, I absolutely love the Hallmark Channel, and also where's the Real Weather Channel?" And I go, "Oh, okay, well, let's talk about that." Well, the Hallmark, <laughs> and I actually used to not have an answer to that question. The Hallmark actually has its own little service. Oop. Hallmark actually has its own service, and apparently they are either co or they own the Weather Channel. So if you want some of these channels, you can go to Friendly. Um, it's missing, I know, some uh, um, vowels in there. But Friendly TV, and for $6, you can get like the Game Show Network, QVC. They have three different kind of Hallmark offerings there and get the Weather Channel, okay, for $6. So if during the holidays you really, really, really want to see like the Hallmark channels and of course like the Christmas shows and stuff, well, there you go right there for $6. Um, if you cut the cable today, $6, you could get all that stuff too, okay? So that kind of answers my Weather Channel Hallmark, but the TV Nation, the Weather Nation channel is what I use as my main um, weather news channel, okay? Of course, you, you know, or pull up a website. A uh, big one is that even though uh, Disney Plus has only been out since um, a year, we can actually see that as of fe February, it was actually surpassing. I haven't seen any new recent numbers, but there we go right there talking about uh, 28 million subscribers already okay so it really is a juggernaut and really people really were ready for it okay I've had family that their biggest thing is that they're excited because it has uh, Hannah Montana on there so they can see old Hannah Montana episodes and uh, Sweet Life of uh, Sweet Life and all the kind of classic growing up uh, TV shows that people had about 10 years ago that's on Disney Plus where Disney Channel's not showing any of that stuff anymore. So here's a little bit of the extra that I got asked to add. 
Um, and it's inf interesting information. There's our TV, I mean, excuse me, our uh, telephone jumping around there. So let's talk about a little bit of extra here, cutting the phone cord. Uh, one of the things is about 52% of households are all wireless. They don't actually have a, a normal cord phone anymore. Um, but 20% still have true landlines, the old school copper wires. They used to be in the only type of telephone connection. Okay. The other 25% of households, this is an estimate, uh, with landlines are actually VOIP voice over internet protocol through a cable or fiber optic connection, says CBS News. Okay. So let's kind of break this down. What exactly does that mean? Well, a lot of homes are kind of cutting the, the traditional cable, excuse me, the traditional telephone cord to try to save money. I will tell you this, if you go to the AT&T um, site, their traditional telephone with no long distance, they say is only $35. Now, I'm sure that that isn't including maybe things like uh, caller ID or whatever else. Uh, the only negative part of course, excuse me, the positive part, parts about having a traditional is, of course, if electricity cuts off, you could still make a phone call. <laughs> um, and if our cell tower, you know, the battery dies in your phone, then you can't, okay? But if you had a cordless phone, the battery dies in there, you're still in the same way, unless you just had a cord plugged right into the phone, you know, kind of like our phone right here, okay? Why do you disappear? That's weird. Okay. Huh. Anyway, so with Comcast, they actually have a bundle that, and you do actually have to get a, um, a modem that does do uh, the telephone on it. can be an extra cost, but a little bit of a side note in there. Uh, one of the things is if you can work it out, probably recommend you actually purchase your modem. It's not that big a deal. It's not very hard to do. Uh, basically places like Best Buy locally here and they'll actually point you in the right direction and I actually did that when I moved um, I did not start renting my um, box from them it's been more than a year now so I actually um, worked it out so the box was going to cost about $15 a month uh, rent okay the modem uh, and one of the things I did was I went to Best Buy I looked up what I needed and I basically went in there and said, I need a, a modem for Comcast. Letty said, well, they're right there and the boxes actually had the Comcast logo on them. Brought it home, followed the instructions on the website and it pretty much just started working, okay? So um, after the first year, because I calculated the $15 a month, after the first year, now I feel like that modem's paying me $15 because I'm not paying a rental fee because I all out and just bought the modem. Um, so there you go right there. So does that make me feel like I'm a little bit more free to get maybe um, Hulu or something like that? Absolutely, because I know that I am already am saving $15 a month because I did spend the money and bought the modem, okay? So... All, it's, all they're charging me is for the cost of internet. So there's also other services too, like Vonage, and I'm still not sure how to say that. Ub, Ubma, I guess it's Ubma or something, or Umba. Um, equipment, it's actually something a lot of people have. It says $99 for the equipment, and it's completely free long distance, you know, just through the internet, like Vonage. Um, but their website actually says that there's a $4 monthly tax. So I'm not really sure how that works, but that is what they say on their website, okay? So let's talk about our future briefly. So the future kind of is TV everywhere, okay? Kind of imagine, you know, devices that, you know, streaming stuff, watching stuff while you're, you're um, you know, waiting in line somewhere. And the biggest thing is we want to see every show every um, every show and every movie ever made and make it available, okay? That's not asking too much, is it? 5G self speed is actually on the way. We'll see how that affects. Hopefully they will not do something to the effect of uh, go back to the, what they did with 4G at the beginning was charging data rates. So hopefully we'll keep our unlimited plans just like we do now and we won't have to go through that again just like we did with 3G, and then they did it again with 4G. Hopefully they won't do it 
again with 5G talking about unlimited and okay data plans and all that stuff again. They probably will at some point to be honest. Uh, currently we are on the ATSC antenna signal which is the current version 1. We're actually skipping version 2. Version 3 they're trying out in some pocket cities. South Korea is really big on it. It allows more content to be added meaning more channels, higher quality. Uh, you won't need as large an antenna with the the point the 3.0 and they're also talking about a full on-screen guide uh, some some TVs like a Samsung um, even though you're just using stuff with the antenna if it is connected up to the internet it'll actually automatically download a like a few hours ahead guide of all the channels that you have so that's really neat too so there are some things that will do that and 4k content okay so the future is very bright with antennas with this new antenna technology. So kind of be a very positive, very happy. Now I'm going to go ahead and give you some homework. Okay. A big thing is maybe pull out a sheet of paper, pull up a note notepad on your phone, kind of write a little bit of a thing of what you're watching. What do you really watch? Okay. Try to keep track of it for about two weeks. And I will tell you this, if you do cut the cord, if you do get certain streaming services, and you want to watch TV, trust me, you're still going to watch TV. You actually may change what shows you watch. You may find shows that are similar. I uh, had a friend that one of the things was she couldn't live without the HGTV network. Didn't want to cut the cable until the streaming things had that. When the Sony View came along, she got that, cut the cable, and was actually very happy. Okay, so there you go right there. So it's a really good idea to do that. And kind of keep an eye idea finding out what you're actually watching so here's kind of my resources on here I'll leave this kind of hang out here for a minute um, the big thing about this is here's the government address talking about digital uh, TV here's about antennas the FCC.gov talking about uh, digital TV they have a digital TV map as well remember point in the right direction this is a fantastic website it's called instant watcher you can, if you want to know, go, hey, I want to see a movie. wonder what that movie's on. Some of, our, some of these devices, like the Roku, you can actually just ask Roku about a movie, and it'll actually search all the services and see which one it's on, TV shows too, um, and pull it right up. I actually use that a lot for watch, finding things on Pluto um, the, pretty easily. Anyway, it'll show you which service is on, and then if it is on a paid thing, um, it'll actually tell you which one it is or if it's on a free one okay it's justwatch.com I've listed all the other things here uh, Sling TV will actually talk about the reasons or how to get local programming uh, if you are interested in uh, 911 service kind of find out more information about that Talk about that with your cell phone or setting that up with uh, like the voice over IP so they do know your address when you do call in. Here's information. I didn't go into it too much just to kind of know that um, we're kind of in what they could known as the repack. They've been doing it for about a year now. And that's why some of our channels kind of have digital channels kind of can have kind of shuffled around a little bit. Um, but that's to make the, the signal better and stronger. Okay. And just every every month, every two months or so, maybe just do a rescan of your antenna channels and um, see if you got something new. All right, so does anybody have any questions? Any questions? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I know we've covered a lot of topics <laughs> and hopefully I did answer uh, questions that you had and stuff. 
Uh, if you are with Comcast Internet, I would recommend you calling in and asking about the Flex Box, okay? And like I said, they'll send you one for free. Free, 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 free. See, and it actually does voice uh, search as well. Um, but if you don't have Comcast Internet, or if you want more one of those boxes, I'd probably get the free one and play around with it. I still really like my uh, Roku box kind of better. And one of the big things is hitting the button and it switching over to that input instead of having to deal with it. And of course, the one I have does the TV on and off and does the volume. And this does too. Okay. But that's free if you already have Comcast. And then you can watch all the, the Peacock stuff, uh, the, the $5 tier for free. Um, it's included with your service. Okay. Yeah, my shirt is still being uh, transparent. Okay, so we've covered a lot today, haven't we? Okay. This is kind of one of our big fun classes. Um, I do enjoy teaching this class. I hope you enjoyed it too, and I got lots of different tips and everything. Um, here's a little bit of our schedule. So tomorrow, like I said, at 11 o'clock, I'm going to be doing, or excuse me, this afternoon, we're going to be doing the creating video and editing basics. So come join me with that. We'll be doing some video editing, slideshow stuff. We'll be talking about the free program that comes with Windows 10. Okay. And then we'll be talking about in the morning, our Raspberry Pi projects. And like I said, I think we're going to do one where it's a, we're going to program a, a breathing, uh, breathing LED light. And also I think we're going to work on making a buzzing doorbell. Okay. Using some of our parts that we got shipped in a few months ago and kind of playing around with that. Okay. So join me for that. That'll be Raspberry Pi projects with Alex live and uh, we'll just kind of learn together. Okay. So um, tomorrow afternoon, we're going to be doing library resources and apps and we'll be using, we'll be talking about the new Libby audiobook and ebook app, trying to get stuff to that's going to be going over to that, to the other system instead of using the RB digital anymore. And also we'll be talking about how to get um, Acorn TV for free as well. And also the IndieFlick a TV service. Just a little side note, our libraries are open with limited services and hours. Curbside Holds Pickup is available. You can go to gchrl.org for details or call in the library with questions Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Like I said, if we can get 100 YouTube subscribers, we can actually get our own personalized a YouTube address. So uh, if you are looking for our YouTube channel, you're on it right now, or you can go to YouTube, search GCHRL videos, and it should pop right up. Okay, well, thank you for coming. I hope you enjoyed class. Yes, my shirt is still transparent. <laughs> but that does happen sometimes when you're using a green screen. Okay, ever seen the weather? It does, the local weather and stuff, it does happen. Thank you for joining me today. Have a great day. Go outside. The sun's kind of shiny on this wonderful Wednesday. And I'll see you next time. Stay safe. And um, there you go. Bye-bye.